Alright ladies and gents, we're back at it with another tutorial featuring the Anastasia Riviera palette. Can we just get an amen? I can't get enough of this palette. These shades are doing it for me. I love this shimmery shade I used on the lid today. It is just right up my alley. I'm all about those warmer tones, you already know. This is a full face tutorial. I use some new products in here, some products that came out recently, so I'm super excited for you guys to see that. Before we get into today's video, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please Please click that button down below. It would mean the world to me. I like to keep my intros relatively short just because you're here for a makeup tutorial. So with that being said, let's get started with today's look. Alright, so as always, we're going to start off by priming our skin. Today, I'm using the Farsali Unicorn Essence, which I love this stuff. It smooths out the skin really nicely. It just makes your skin so soft, and it really does hold your makeup on all day long, which is what you want when not only are you spending a lot of time on your makeup, but when you're using nice products, you want to get the most bang for your buck. So for foundation today, I'm going to be mixing together my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation with my Morphe Liquid Luster Drops. This is in the shade Optic, and I'm going to be blending that in with my Ulta for It Cosmetics Flawless Complexion Brush, I think is what it's called. I'm just making a little cocktail of this and then putting it all over my face, and then I'm just pushing this product into the skin to make sure I'm getting the most full coverage possible, and then I'm blending it out. So now I'm mixing together my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Concealer. I'm just doing this to get the right shade. I'm focusing that Tarte Shape Tape Concealer right on the inner corner because this is the brighter shade. I want to make sure I'm getting a lot of that brightness in that inner corner where you tend to have the darkest areas of your under eye, if that makes sense. And then I'm just blending that in with my Stands Out Beauty Sponge. I swear by this thing. I can get my concealer blended in so quick with this and it doesn't absorb too much product. It just gives the perfect coverage. So now I'm taking my Chanel cream bronzer. This is my all-time favorite cream bronzer. It's just so beautiful on the skin and it looks so natural. I'm going to be putting that on with my Sigma F84. This is an angled kabuki brush. This is the brush, brush that I reach for whenever I'm doing any kind of cream bronzer because it is angled. I feel like you can just really go in and get those hollow parts of your face and your cheekbones and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just putting this on my cheekbones, my temples, and my forehead area. And then I'm also going to bring this around my jawline and a little bit down my neck to make sure that there's no separation between my face and my neck. So once that's on, I'm picking up my Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek Perk with my BH Cosmetics number no. 9 brush. I like to apply this product onto the brush and then stipple that onto my face just because I feel like I get the best blend and I feel like I'm not moving my makeup around too much and it's just my favorite way to apply this. So now just picking up those optic drops once again, which oh my god, I'm just so in love with this product. I literally can't get enough of it. I've been using it all the time. I'm just tapping it onto the high points of my cheekbones there and I'm just blending it out just to create a little bit more of a natural glow from within. So now that we have those cream products down, we're going to go in and set the face. So I'm going to be using my JH07 brush with my RCMA No Color Powder. I'm just going to be putting this right under my eyes to set, and then I'm going to bring it right down next to my nose. That's where I tend to get a little bit more oily. And then I'm also going to put this in the center of my face, down my nose, and on my chin. So I'm just focusing this powder where I want to set that concealer and also where I tend to get oilier. I don't want to completely powder my whole face with this because I'm trying to keep that dewiness in the skin and we're going to be going over with bronzers and things like that anyways so I feel like it isn't necessary but I just want to put this where I need it most. Then I'm picking up my JH02 brush with this Too Faced Chocolate Gold Soleil bronzer and I'm just putting this everywhere that I put that cream bronzer. To set the cream blush, I'm going to be using my Morphe blush in the shade Blush. Blush? <laughs> in the shade Boss. This is from the Pop of Coral Blush Trio, and I'm just applying that with my JH04 brush. If you have seen any of my videos, you know this is one of my all-time favorite highlighters. This is the Laura Geller, 
oh my god i can't speak today apparently this is the laura geller gilded honey highlighter this stuff is so beautiful i'm just applying this with my jh09 brush and then i'm just going to quickly go in and fill my brows i'm just going to speed through this this is pretty self-explanatory and you guys have seen it a bunch of times on my channel before I'm just quickly going to set my face with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist before picking up my JH34 brush and the shade Cabana from the Riviera palette. It's just this beautiful mustard shade right here. I'm going to just run my finger over my lid just to get rid of any creases from that concealer. And I'm just going to focus this in that upper crease and transition area. And then I'm also going to bring it down onto that lower lash line once I'm happy with the pigmentation on the lid just to help myself create more of that kind of smoky shape. And and also just to give myself a guide as to where I want the rest of the shadows to go and also I'm just making sure to connect that upper outer corner to that lower lash line to create a little bit more of that V shape or that wung out shape however you want to describe it Now I'm taking the shade Palm with my Morphe M433 brush. This is just the end-all be-all of blending brushes for me. I have so many of these just because they're so nice for laying down color or blending out color. I feel like it's just my go-to blending brush. I'm focusing this shade in the crease. I'm not bringing it past that cabana shade. I want this to be tightest in the crease to give the most definition. And once again, once I'm happy with that pigmentation up on that lid area, I'm also going to run this under that lower lash line. With a flat shader brush, I'm going to be picking up the shade Yacht, which, oh my god, I just love this shade. I love these golden, shimmery, bronzy shades. I don't really know exactly what tone you would describe this as, but it is just so beautiful. There's so much pigment, so I'm just taking this all the way from that inner corner to the outer corner of my lid. Now I'm taking my JH40 brush, which is one of my all-time favorite brushes for the crease and the outer corner. It's just the perfect shape to get more of those defined, detailed areas. I'm taking that shade Palm, and I'm just focusing this on that very outer corner of the lash line and then slightly connecting it to that crease, but I'm not trying to make that outer corner too, too dark. I just want most of that definition to be on that lash line. And then I felt like I just wanted a little bit more pigmentation in that area, so instead of using a fluffier blending brush, I'm just going in with a flat definer brush and pushing that right up against my lash line. I wanted to stay with the softer tones today, so I'm using a brown liner instead of a black one, but a gold liner I think would look really good with this as well. I just didn't have one. This is my Morphe liner in the shade Richie, and then once I have that on, I'm going to be applying a quick coat of mascara to prep my lashes for falsies, and I will be using the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. For lashes, I will be using my Ardell Wispy Lashes. These are the Studio Effect version, which I believe is a little bit more dramatic than the original Wispies. I'm not exactly sure. It showed on the packaging that they layered some lashes, so that's just why I'm saying that. But these are just the Wispy Lashes. These are a great drugstore lash. If you're new to lashes, I would definitely recommend trying this one out, just because it's not too dramatic and it's also not too natural. It's like that perfect in-between lash. I'm just taking my ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter. This is in the shade Lunch Money, and I'm just applying that with my Morphe M213 brush. I'm putting this right into my inner corner and then also on my brow bone just to highlight and just to bring everything together. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to be lining my lips with my Morphe lip liner in the shade Backseat Love. Surprise, surprise. This is what I use almost every time I do my lips. And then over top of that, I'm going to be putting on my Dose of Colors liquid lip gloss. Or not lip gloss. What am I saying? I just can't get it together today. My Dose of Colors liquid lip in the shade Nude Chica. And then right in the very center of my lips, I'm going to be adding a little bit of my Jeffree Star liquid lip in the shade I'm Nude just to brighten it up a little bit. And of course, we can't forget to add a quick coat of mascara to the lower lashes. All right, ladies and gents, so this completes today's tutorial. I definitely wanted to film something that was much more wearable than the last video I did, which if you haven't seen that, I will link that down below. It is a much more colorful tutorial with this palette, but I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you already know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up, and if you are not already subscribed to my channel, I'll forgive you. Click that button down below with the bell button so you get notified when I post. Feel free to leave any comments down below letting me know what you thought of this look or what kinds of looks you want to see from me next. I love and appreciate each and every single one of you. And with that being said, I will see you guys in my next one. My next one? My next video? See you guys in the next one.